Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the trailer and some other theories to do with the new Speed Force, because there is a lot of questions that came out of this new trailer. Also, I had some brewing ideas in the back of my mind. Also, some of you guys have brought up some interesting ideas, so we're going to be breaking down quite a few theories, but mainly about Barry creating the original Speed Force because Barry himself is the literal Speed Force. And so these are just theories, I have to emphasize that. But anyway, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I have done Speed Force series. I think I've done like three or four videos on them so far, you know, in the past few months or so. And I think we've gone through some really interesting ideas and I am really rooting towards this kind of original Speed Force theory being created by Barry and the Speed Force is essentially revived rather than just strictly going for them creating a brand new artificial Speed Force. Because if the artificial Speed Force does go through, they're going to have to do a lot of explaining as to how there are other speedsters out there in the multiverse because I'm presuming at some point we're going to see new speedsters before the show ends and I don't think every speedster is going to come to Barry and beg for the new speed force I don't think that's going to be a thing so yeah let's go ahead and get into the theory so reviving the original speed force and Barry Allen as the speed force like he is the speed force himself so these are the first theories we're going to go into so other speedsters can access it unless Barry found a way to give it to every speedster in the multiverse and somehow distributing, you know, the powers of the speed force. It's going to be very hard, like I said, if any of those show up to actually explain how they got the speed force and did they create their own artificial speed force themselves. Basically, they're just going to bump into a bunch of problems if they do that. So let's move on. What if Barry creates the actual Speed Force, like the real Speed Force we've been seeing for the past few seasons, you know, since season one, we always see a manifestation of Barry's mum, so Nora Allen, that's who we always see, and so if Barry creates the Speed Force, the original one in the future, but sends it back somehow to the past, therefore, he is the original Speedster, he's the original Flash, unlike what we've heard in the past, which is oh, Jay Garrick had it before him, or like, the myth of Savitar being the original speedster, which would actually be technically correct if my theory is true. If Barry created it himself, he would be the first speedster, so maybe Savitar wasn't so wrong after all. So in this case, he wouldn't need to revive the speed force because yes, it is dead from where Barry was, you know, in the present, but in the future, and I mean like, you know, a year or a few months later in the future, whenever he creates this speed force, he doesn't need to revive it, he needs to make it for the first time. And so back in this point up, in the comics, Barry Allen actually becomes the lightning bolt that struck himself on that fateful night in his lab that we've seen in the show and we saw it on Arrow before it happened in The Flash. And then Barry got struck by lightning, he got powers, he became the Flash eventually, and so it turned out to be a whole full loop where he gives himself his powers, then he becomes the Flash, then he goes back and gives himself his powers and it goes round and round and round again. But to back that up, Oliver, I believe in like one of the first seasons, he said he believed that the lightning bolt chose Barry. It was literally said in the show, so what happens if he actually chose himself? Now I don't think that's too far-fetched and I'm sorry if it's a bit confusing because we're talking about kind of similar theories but with different branches. But essentially the whole thing that I'm trying to get at right here in this specific segment of the video is Barry could be the literal speed force. And so continuing on from that, with Barry being the literal speed force, what if Barry runs so fast that he becomes pure energy forming the speed force? Now this is kind of gonna be a thing that we're gonna continue going down the line of for the rest of the video. As I believe this idea is actually one of the strongest ones in that he literally creates a speed force by accident and he does it himself, he doesn't actually mean to do it and this kind of links into the trailer because in the trailer his lightning turns blue, he is running as fast as he can and his lightning is going completely out of control, it's going in his eyes, it's streaking out everywhere and it's even changed colours. So what happens if the blue lightning isn't because he's taking V9, you know, Velocity 9 or any sort of different formula or anything like that because, you know, blue lightning in the show normally signifies yes, someone is faster, but it's also an artificial speed force. What happens 
if he runs so fast that his lightning turns into a different color and that color just so happens to be blue and that would make sense because you've got like Nora in the future she had purple and orange lightning and that's completely different that doesn't signify how fast she is or anything but it could be that his genetics somehow led to her getting those colors because as we see in the trailer he has a mix of colors as well and maybe that is because he runs so fast that he turns into actual speed force pure energy hence making the new speed force aka the original one literally by him running so fast so i think this is probably the best idea and the best theory out of all of them right now and i think the trailer for season 7 really backs this up with him running through the speed lab and him going completely out of control it looks like he's completely jacked up and juiced up on energy like we'd never seen him before and that energy is definitely motivated by his want to actually save Iris because he needs to maybe run so fast that he can travel into another dimension maybe that's his way of getting into the mirror verse but at the same time he creates the speed force and so with him becoming pure speed force energy and becoming and creating the speed force he becomes that lightning bolt that will strike him in the past and so all he has to do here is time travel and the speed force doesn't work within the expanse of time because it is separated from time it's a whole new thing itself it's in a completely different dimension and time doesn't work normally there so he doesn't actually technically have to time travel back in the past to shoot that lightning bolt and basically he will actually choose who gets struck by that lightning bolt so he chooses Wally he chooses all these other people in the future speedsters to come Barry is the one, even if he's not doing it himself, he has created the Speed Force and therefore he has allowed all these speedsters to get powers and so the Speed Force can now choose anyone it wants and deems worthy. So hopefully that bit kind of made a bit of sense, I tried to be a bit more clear there, so this is the whole idea of Barry being the literal Speed Force and what if that actually happened and he ran so fast in this trailer that he creates his own Speed Force. And so moving on from that, so every choice Barry made since that night that he got struck by lightning led him being able to run this fast, becoming that pure speed force energy. So if he never went back in time and struck himself or, you know, rather than time traveling, he chose himself and struck himself with lightning, he wouldn't have been the flash and therefore the speed force would have never existed and he would have never been fast enough to get to the point of actually creating the speed force. So as I said earlier in the video, it's a whole time loop because, you know, the Flash wouldn't exist but also neither would the Speed Force and basically Barry would just be a normal person. And so another point, in Season 2 of The Flash, the Speed Force, as depicted as Nora, at some point said that it existed from the beginning of time to the end of time and like I said, it doesn't exist within, you know, the breadth of time, you know, the whole expanse it exists elsewhere on the edge of time. And so if the Speed Force were to never come back, and I'm talking about the original Speed Force here, that means that either it's definitely coming back because they said they exist at the end of time, or the writers just forgot about it and they were like, yeah, let's kill off the Speed Force, even though in season two, we said, and I'm talking about in the form of the Speed Force, the Speed Force said, Nora said, they existed from the beginning of time to the end of time, and so would it actually be a lie or is this actually going to be true and that would mean that surely the speed force would be coming back if it does exist to the end of time so we're gonna have to see if that actually plays into fruition and that's an interesting catch that one of you guys caught out that they actually said this in season two so you should expect the speed force to come back and i think this definitely backs up our whole idea of barry creating the speed force by becoming pure speed force energy so anyway before we end this video let's go over the artificial speed force so obviously we've been talking about the idea of the original speed force coming back throughout this whole video but the artificial speed force is what they've set out to actually try and achieve and they are very close and i don't know if they're going to be successful or not but it would seem that godspeed being the villain of the season is probably going to try and siphon most of it off and I would say it's going to be a bit easier for him if it is the artificial speed force where Barry gets his powers from this season he could totally get all the velocity that he wants. I would say it's probably going to be a bit harder if the original speed force comes back and he's going to try and siphon infinite velocity off of an entity beyond his reach. I think the speed force could probably combat him so 
I guess this kind of plays into the idea that maybe the artificial speed force might properly happen this season and you won't be getting any of the Barry become the speed force theory ideas. So I think you should all take that into consideration when discussing your theories. So let me know all your theories in the comments down below because a lot of them have given me some insight when creating especially this video because a bunch of you commented and basically had some other ideas that kind of branched off from my ideas and they were inspiration for this video because I kind of put down a list of stuff that can totally back up the idea of them creating the original Speed Force and before the trailer that came out recently for season 7 I don't think I was that sure that they could bring back the original Speed Force, but seeing what I've seen in that trailer with that one shot of Barry going absolutely crazy, being completely juiced up on Speed Force energy, I'm saying that maybe he does actually become the Speed Force. Like, I don't think I've seen Barry that intense in a long, long time, so what happens if that is what's actually happening? So thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new so you don't miss any videos, but for now I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.